my dear children my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus are you ready to accept corrections when your elders or parents or teachers give you cheerfully some people retort mind your own business some others say it is none of your business sometimes those who have guardianship responsibility for others fail in their duty to correct we love one another not only by doing good things but also by correcting others in the right way that is also a good thing only we can't say like kain am i my brother's keeper am i my sister's keeper i am not responsible for him we can't disown our responsibility even among friends we have a tamil poem by the great poet thiruvalluvar true friendship is not for laughing together but when your friend goes beyond what is required exceeds the limit you have to correct him that is the true friendship the poet says my dear brothers and sisters today i think it's a blessing that we have received this message through the word of god all three readings proclaim to you insist on this fact parents teachers elders if they don't correct people who are interested to them the lord says ultimately you will be held accountable more than those children or little ones look at today's first reading my dear brothers and sisters the lord tells prophet ezekiel i have made you a watchman for the people of israel you are a sentinel you are a watchman i give you my word when somebody commits sin you have to warn that person there is danger for you if you do this or if you go on doing this you have to warn this person if you do not warn what will happen that person will die in his iniquity in his sin but you know you will be held responsible your blood will be required for the destruction of that person whom you did not correct to whom you did not give my word suppose you corrected suppose you proclaimed my word till that person doesn't repent you will save yourselves even though that fellow will be destroyed very clear short passage in this 33rd chapter of the prophet ezekiel very clear my dear brothers and sisters so many parents are here have you corrected your children why there is unnecessary problem she will weep she will create a scene better we will live in peace ultimately no you are responsibility if you do not correct you are responsible for the destruction sometimes my dear brothers and sisters when other people make 
make some serious mistakes or do something harmful, some people are waiting to take revenge on them. That is one kind of attitude. Some others, what they do, they simply keep quiet. What is the purpose of correction? We read in the prophet Ezekiel itself, the purpose of correction is God's purpose itself. For example, in 18th chapter, the Lord says, I do not wish anyone's death, but want all of them to be converted. The reformation of the person, the conversion of the person is our purpose. Not because to show, I am superior to you, I am perfect. No. What is the purpose? The Lord doesn't want anyone to be destroyed. When you correct your brother or sister, you want that person to be saved, to be reformed, to be converted. Yet another passage, God wants all persons to become new creatures. Ezekiel 32nd, 36th chapter, 26 to 27. All our brothers and sisters must become new creatures. And again, the Lord wants new life for his people. In 37th chapter we read, how dry bones get flesh and blood and come out of the graves. Our correction has the same purpose. We want them to be full. We want them to be peaceful. That is the reason for our corrections. But then my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus said, first of all, to correct others, you should have integrity. You should have credibility. The mother is all the time glued to the TV. Serial, 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 I'm ending. When the children are watching the cartoon network, don't watch the TV. First of all, how much time you are spending, wasting your whole life sitting before the TV. Do you have credibility to correct that child also? The mother doesn't pray rarely comes to the church like politicians who have won the elections occasionally they will come to meet people like that only the father but then you don't know the prayers you don't know the bible you yourself do not know you should have integrity you should have credibility you might have heard about an old incident that happened in the life of our father of the nation Mahatma Gandhi a mother took his little boy to Gandhi and told him, this fellow is too much fond of sweets, all the time eating sugar, sweets, chocolates, all the time, please correct him. Gandhi told that mother, you please come after two weeks. Then after two weeks, the mother took that little boy. Then Gandhi advised that boy hereafter, try to reduce eating too much sweets. Then the mother asked Gandhi, this you could have told that boy two weeks ago. Why are you telling this now? Then Gandhi told it seems, I was also too fond of sweets. I was eating too many sweets, chocolates. That's why first I wanted to control myself. Only then I have the right to correct that person. Correction with integrity. Integrity. Did not Jesus say, do not point out the speck in your brother's eye. There is a log in your eye. First remove the log from your eye. Then you can see your brother. First you have to look at your own mistakes and be reformed. Correction with integrity. Like a little boy scolded by the teacher every day you are stealing some pencil or pen from the school he called his father why your son is doing like this what to do every day i am stealing some pencils and pens from my office but in spite of that this fellow is also stealing how can that father correct this person correction with integrity integrity 
and then correction with humility a sinner dealing with a sinner a believer dealing with a believer not to show your superiority and another thing i always tell the religious superiors in communities you know convents in seminaries and everywhere some of us must make our homework before we correct what is that homework you should create in the hearts of your wards emotional bank account you have your own bank account what is the emotional bank account it is the trust and confidence you create in the other person by consistent loving and respectful behavior you should have appreciated the child for all the good things she does only then when she does something you can correct her easily appreciation or oh, today is your birthday i will take you for shopping or i will do something good to you you are depositing in the hearts of the child today your mother i heard is sick come we will go and visit her you are depositing in the heart of your wife you have to deposit by a series of deeds to manifest your love and attention to the other person when they do something wrong when that is withdrawal most of us never deposit are all the time interested in withdrawing money every correction is some kind of withdrawal but first deposit in the heart do you have emotional bank account in the heart of your spouse in the heart of your children so many times jesus appreciated the disciples also that is the attitude of jesus come to today's gospel the understanding the sensitivity of jesus jesus says don't correct anyone publicly have respect for the person for example scolding the wife in front of the children how will the children respect her or scolding the husband in front of the children or the headmaster scolding the other teachers in front of the children public correction must be avoided as far as possible respect the dignity of people jesus says you go alone that is the first step go alone to that person solve the problem appreciate publicly but correct privately as far as possible no my dear brothers and sisters the heart of jesus correct privately appreciate publicly say some good things about your children so many days she cooked so nicely it was very tasty you not even uttered a word one day there was extra salt it was extra spicy you make a big scene just throw the food away no patience tactfulness understanding jesus is calling for the first private correction the second step then not listening through some persons who are dear to that person you correct that person then again you go to the higher authority to the church sometimes it may be okay that the person is cut off from your relationship but still you have to pray for that person pray for the conversion of the person see my dear brothers and sisters the love the concern of jesus correction with integrity correction with humility correction after doing all that we are supposed to do on the other hand when we are corrected we have to accept them with humility you know the seminarians are receiving evaluation at the end of the year one of the points they always write is the fathers in charge will be asked does he accept correction does he accept correction to be promoted to priesthood no he resents correction he does not accept anybody's correction same thing we have to accept our corrections or we have to volunteer to be criticized that we may improve all 
all those who correct us, criticize us, are indirectly contributing to our growth. Let us be humble. Let us know our responsibility in giving mutual corrections and thus follow the gospel and walk as true believers and disciples according to the will of God. Amen.